Yes, Chef, we can start now. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. A very good afternoon to all of you and a very heartiest warm welcome to this session um, hosted and moderated by myself, but our main speaker, uh, Mr. Kapil Seth. Uh, before I go any further, I would uh, heartfully like to thank our Dean Ma'am uh, for the opportunity given to me and I would formally like to welcome all my uh, my peers and colleagues and my students. Uh, to start with, I would like to give a brief introduction about uh, Mr. Kapil Seth. Mr. Kapil Seth uh, is a Delhi University graduate and, a prof and he did his qualifications uh, in the field of personal management and in our human relations, industrial relations from New Delhi itself. Uh, he comes with himself uh, with over two decades of hospitality experience and recently has been in the field of teaching um, students like uh, what we do in our university. Um, he is presently working in the capacity of a guest lecturer with uh, Delhi Institute of Hotel Management and uh, Indian uh, Hotel Academy since 2021, which he has recently joined. Um, Mr. Said is a very, uh, uh, loves talking to people. He loves engaging with students and uh, certainly he has been a great problem solver uh, for a lot of students in the past. And I have personally worked with him in the past for a, a good one, one and a half years. And, a, uh, and it was certainly an opportunity for me to work with him. Um, I would uh, like Kapil sir to say a few things and then uh, we can start with the sessions. I would like to invite Kapil sir to take over the, the session and then we can start formally start with the session. Kapil sir, you're on mute. Uh, very good afternoon and warm welcome. I hope I'm audible to everyone. All right, sir, you are. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm uh, quite blessed and uh, thankful to Le Cabal Bleu School of Hospitality and Tourism and special thanks to Dr. Savita Sharma, uh, who are meeting for the first time across this platform. And uh, dear all faculty members, my colleagues and the students, uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thanks, Sachin, sir for uh, inviting me on this uh, forum and yes sharing knowledge that's nothing i have experience yes you said about 30 years uh, the life teaches right from the birth itself so learning is have no age so everybody learns the day they bond and as a gurbani uh, it has been sick uh, i learn everything so it should be there that just has to be there in your life that you would need to learn at every stage. So uh, there is no time of age of uh, restrictions on learning. All that need there is uh, want and willings. If you have a will, you definitely will learn. If you want want to learn definitely there are the platforms open and thank god uh, this covid also i don't blame all but this covid had given this uh, platform where we can do online learning we are not doing this uh, pre vedic sessions or medical wear or uh, i would say indian uh, way of uh, teaching we are just come across by learning right from the beginning to this post pandemic sessions also uh, we are learning the new technologies we are learning the new way of life the life is teaching every day a new lesson so we have to be ready for it i just would like to uh, show a little video which sachin sir may uh, i'm just requesting sachin sir to play it's about two minutes video it shows that uh, how learning is important so may I request uh, before going further, Sachin sir? Yes sir, I'm, I'm just playing the video sir. Thank you very much.
Thank you. So with this, uh, we definitely come to know that with the experience, with the learnings, Sir Vishwetraya, get to know that there is a crack. And this all happens with everyone every day. We know what is best, what is the learning had been taught us, the intuitions which comes in their mind, they guide you that what to do, what not to do. The same with this COVID also, uh, which come up as a pandemic. And in this, the guideline says that what precautions we have to do. And that's what we are learning every day and doing practice that uh, we should maintain uh, how to wash our hands, how to maintain the safe distance, how to stop wear masking and keeping safe. That's what the COVID-19 norms are created. There is a lot of questions which comes through this that learning can change life post pandemic. I would like to know that what is learning? That is the base. We talk a lot about the learnings. What are the objectives of learning? Why we should learn? How it can change the life of anyone? Post pandemic, before pandemic also it had changed. The people after studying the 15th September was Mr. Vishweshwarya. And Dr. Radha uh, Sarvapalli has been 5th September, which is celebrated as a teacher's day. So this is all uh, his dedication, his uh, knowledge, which has been shared and imparted to the students. And that's the reason he says that don't celebrate my birthday. Uh, you make a celebration as a teacher day. He accommodate that. So then we have to understand that how we can overcome and when uh, will it be normal? So these are different questions which come in my mind. I said that, okay, fine. We will look into it and see the learning. It started as the child parts. The learning starts how to take care. The learning starts from the schools. When you learn alphabets, when you learn numbers, it starts from their day one and then it stays there you have a new research and development which keep on happening and that's the reason we have invented our scientists had invented and we've been to mars also it is nothing new we all know about it uh, but yes definitely these changes can happen when we do constantly changing this learning can improve our knowledge every day this learning can uh, make attitude change. This learning can bring the good skills in us. This learning can put or make a better human being in front of others. So this, we can do this learning and it is not a one day process. It is a continuous process which happens. Uh, it goes with your academic knowledge. It goes with your attitude. It goes with your creativity. It goes with your reading practices and external knowledge. This is a continuous process, which you have to do it regularly. If you do not practice uh, one day, uh, you must have seen in your class also that one is good, one is average, one is not picking it. Why? Because they are not doing that continuous efforts. The teachers are teaching everyone with the same passion, with the same lessons. One is doing the top 90%, one is still uh, rolling. But yes, we have to make sure that everybody comes to the path and uh, be with us at the same standard of getting 90 percent each that's what my philosophy that i want to take everybody together if everyone can uh work hard can do continuous support but for this we have an innovative ways of teaching and thank god this technology has given uh, these ideas our students are more capable more technical hands on it i am a little uh, old but yes i'm learning too my age of learning is not over. I'm learning every day something new. So I'm really happy to uh, share those thoughts, your thanks, that yes, uh, we can do, we can uh, 
take along our new generations and to show, to guide that our ethics, our values, our morals should be handed over to the new generations. This is very important. It's a part of learning. And this can be done if we guide them in the right direction. If we ask them rightly, if we take good care of our new generations, we all are very much worried. But yes, uh, there is no need to worry. Uh, the things will be over. One day we again will be sitting in our campus. We will be uh, sharing uh, the classes with the school, uh, with our students, and our uh, knowledge also being shared and part with them. So uh, it is a continuous process. The only thing is that we have to develop their attitude. We have to see their skills. And then as for their skills, their creativity, you empower them, you push them and brush. That's what we do. We are the diamond makers. These diamonds are shined by us. So we all can do. And trust me, if we have to polish ourselves for that reason, uh, no hesitation, I'm ready for it. So yes, we have to work together and see what era, what uh, sports activity or what creativity they have. You have to push them and take them forward. Then uh, you don't learn to walk by following rules. You learn by doing and by falling over. This is what uh, Richard Branson said in his quotation that you keep on learning when you are a toddler. You learn about this, you fall, but you keep on walking and that way you learn. So it's a good, uh, you keep on learning through this. The learning is the process of acquiring new knowledge, intellectual skills, and new manual for uh, physical skills, new emotional values, attitudes, which can be created, which can be enhanced in anyone. So this is the teacher's job who have to come forward and get their students, our next generations to the height. They can take, and yes, we all can do it. Post pandemic, we can still do this. The pandemic is a momentary thing. It is a situation in front of us. And as earlier situations, we dealt, we will do this also. The doctors, surgeons, and uh, frontline staff, which has been helping us, they are doing this vaccination and things. They are getting these treatments for us. So definitely, we will do it. Uh, Somebody's presenting something. Nidhi Naina's presenting. Okay. Uh, it's it's nothing. Sir. It's just the back the backdrop. That's it. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. I thought something gets me just no, no, nothing, uh, nothing, appeared nothing. in front of me. <laughs> nothing. Nothing, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, so we'll continue with the intellectual skills. As I said, that somebody is very intellectual. Somebody is good in studies, somebody good in science, somebody good in uh, sport. See their intellectual and somebody is very good engineer. So we can make them to adopt and we have to understand what they are good. So we have to take them away and we have to polish their skills. We have to develop the passion for learning. Uh, if you do, you will never cease to grow. Nobody can stop you. We have to see and understand the passion of it. The people passion, that's the reason the skill intellectuals can be done by knowing what is the passion, what uh, the era of the people like to go, how they would like to move. So the learning is all that. And the learning definitely developing the skills in each and every one. The students can make a beautiful things. That's what in our hospitality and tourism, uh, we polish them, we tell them that how to uh, prepare certain dishes, how to uh, prepare uh, your housekeeping, how to prepare your rooms. These are the skills which has been uh, inculcated there and how to welcome your guest, how to uh, greet your guest, 
how to understand their problems. You have to understand and uh, you have to give them the feedback by providing the right path. So this all can be done with the learnings. Without learnings, um, sorry, no one can reach. So learning is uh, again a continuous process, which we are doing it. And uh, the objective, definitely it has been uh, our acquisition of knowledge. We have to acquire the knowledge. That is the basic. We are here to know what is this, why the telephone is being ringing. We never thought about uh, this mobile phones in our era where the phones will not exist. I still remember the days when we have to go for STD booths to make a call, but the technology improvement have done. There was no electricity, no wireless things were there, but thank God this technology is there. And these continuous uh, knowledge which comes and is being given by our generations, that's what we are passing it to the next generations. We have to pass the right paths to our new lovely students who can do good in their life. Uh, then we also are responsible for their behavior. If they are not doing good, we are responsible because we have not taught them good. If we taught them, we handle them uh, rightly, definitely they understand and will bring their behavior better. We have to talk right from the childhood, from the young age, from the adults and, and in the school colleges, we have to uh, give them the right path and then shaping their behavior and conduct. We have to shape we have to mold their things. Uh, if they have something negativity, push it. Ask them, please console and give them the right advice. That is something what we can do. This hospitality is all about how to take care about others. If we know that, the things are easy things you can do on your own and very uh, smartly. You have to just make sure that the people do understand and uh, take your words and then improve their learning skills. If the people are there, uh, you can definitely improve their skills by guiding them, by checking the new technologies, by providing each and everything to them. Why it happens? Yes, the child is very curious. The same, the students are curious. Uh, what happened about their career? What happened to uh, their life? They're stuck at this moment. They don't know. Uh, there is no uh, ED. There is no placements. I'm sure you guys were uh, facing the same thing, but yes. We can overcome. Uh, trust me, 2022 is a very good year for the hospitality industry, hotel industry, and you will find the boom like 2019. The things are changing. The things are coming back and uh, you will find these generations or the people who are studying here at the moment, uh, they should uh, put their interest by learning multiple skills, uh, which could be in your uh, culinary arts, which could be in your languages, which could be a personality development. So they should go and learn, use this time uh, in the right path. If they do it, definitely this will be added advantage to them because there is a first question which will be asked by the interviewer that what you did this during this pandemic as uh, Binti Bahal from Taj Pulse uh, Hotel, she said that uh, we don't know how to use our time. The time management is one thing which has to be understood, and we have to take good care about it. We should not waste a single minute of it. Whatever the development things we can do, at least if we don't have anything, keep on studying. This online portal is giving you enough opportunity to study for the area of your interest. So you have to see what is your area and what you like to do in your life. And then you have to formation of belief that yes, 2022 is a good year, which has been coming with 
uh, great business opportunity. The things are getting better and it will be good for everyone. The God has its own plans. Don't interrupt. God has a something which has been already been decided for all of us. We have to be happy. We have to do our bit. That's what. Nothing else. If we do our bit, everything is being fed and fine. And trust me, uh, Dr. Sharma, uh, you will see that 2022 is doing great. As I said, you can note it down somewhere. And uh, trust me, this will going to be happen. Just and to add on, to sir, uh, I mean, it is really so nice to listen it uh, from you that, you know, you are so positive. Right. And I think we all need to be very, very positive that, you know, yes, uh, 22 will be good. In fact, I also had, uh, you know, written a, uh, an article where uh, I mentioned that, you know, this is a time where actually students should take admission in hotel management so that next four years, you know, uh, uh, they will be at a very, you know, good. Uh, they, there will be so many openings in hotel management. Absolutely. This is the time uh, uses. Otherwise, they will be wasting their time uh, if they go for some somewhere else uh, there is uh, enough opportunities in this hotel industry like 2019 it was booming and the same will be happening in 2022 i was just reading an article of oyo rooms uh, uh, and then uh, of uh, sri lankan's uh, hotel owners which says that it has been under the cloud so we are taking all precautions and more than 10000 people or 10000 rooms they have sold in first 3 months that was a great achievement for any hoteliers and this is what has been happening. They're getting a main business from Germany. So as soon as the Indian market would be open, definitely uh, the Sri Lanka will be getting more. So I'm not talking about the business in Sri Lanka. Uh, we are looking positive in the business in India also. For that positive energy, we have to uh, follow. We have to spread this. And uh, trust me, this is going to happen. This is going to happen and things will be back to normalization. We have to believe until unless if we don't believe, we cannot uh, transmit or uh, share to our uh, students. How do we do that? <laughs> Thank you very much, doctor. OK, uh, so we'll continue with this. Uh, the more we learn, the more you see. It is uh, one of the saying which has been uh, written in one of the good quotes which says that more you learn the more you see it is again your learning your experiences definitely it puts you above than the others how much you study what all things you do what efforts you are doing what emphasizing you are doing it should come within so if you're not doing good so fine you will not get a good results if you're doing you're putting everything and you're trying hard for the others if you can provide a business to others you have that kind of a mindset definitely this line the hotel industry is doing good like a cloud kitchen you see the mushrooming of this the cloud kitchen business the people your students also in fact my students uh, from bhm uh, they are doing good they have set up their own bakeries uh, they have set up their own uh, uh, outlets where they serve the food to all the people so i'm very really happy for them because this is an opportunity because all these uh, standalone and other restaurants were closed and uh, people were very much scared about this covid but they are the one who are providing these different service they are providing the food to the people who cannot do who cannot make in this time, so they provide. So that way, they have a business, they have an opportunity. So this opportunity definitely will grow in big part. So that's the reason you have to uh, work on it. And uh, you can give them that this hotel industry or the hotels are not the only business. There are a lot of other lines which are there. Aviation sector, which is not open yet, but uh, trust me, it will be open by September uh, at the earliest one, which I see, uh, keeping in mind uh, the relations. So September has been seeing this year. So by that, the things will be normal and you will find the aviation sectors are opening and coming the business, the things will start getting normalized. But it will take its own time 
the hotels are using uh, for the COVID services. The hotel is doing business, but a little business. Like the Aero City, they have done the business. So people requirement is there. It is not that much, but yes, it has been starting. It's been picking now. And uh, trust me, things will move on. And uh, we have to improve ourselves also. We have to learn. We have to keep our eyes, ears open and see that what is good is coming to me. I should grab it. And then we share with my friends and definitely improve their knowledge. This is something which required to be uh, always walk through life as if you have something new you learn and you will like you have to do. You have to learn new things. You have to find that something good is being there. Uh, somebody is doing good. Why? I can enrich my knowledge. I can enrich my this good, good online platform. It provide you all information readily. So we should use the good use of it. And uh, if we trust me doing the good use, definitely it will help us. I'm just giving you a little story here that on September 11th, uh, I'm sure you guys are aware about September 11, the incident which happened and changed the air travel completely. Do you guys remember that? September 11th. <clears throat> yes, sir. Is somebody in there? Aware? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, Nilam Dutya Mush. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, hi, good, af good afternoon, couple, sir. And uh, yeah, we do. The 9 11 incident that happened in Mumbai. Huh? It happened? It happened in Mumbai. That was 26 11. He was talking yeah. about the New York City, 9-11. Uh, yes. Yes, Karan Jitslam, that's good. good. Uh, okay, you mixed it, that's fine, that's okay. But yes, that was a sad incident happened on the 26-11. But uh, talking here about the September 11, which had changed the complete scenario <clears throat> about uh, the travel how the travel arrangements were there by the air travel specially. So the COVID-19 has changed the way we work. It has changed uh, about our study, meditation. It has also changed the complete way of health care, our telemedicine. See the things, you don't have to go to the chemist shop. You simply put it, you will get delivered to your place. You like to see some uh, yoga meditation show? Just click to their links and you will find this. This has improved and provide you the time saving. You don't have to walk. You don't have to go there. It saves your traffic time. It saves you money and some cashbacks also you will get these days, which is a COVID. So people take uh, these telemedicines, but it is not yet open for bypass surgeries, which the doctors do. You cannot do it at the moment by using this uh, technology, but I'm sure the time will come uh, when this also will be possible. With the guidance, uh, you will be able to uh, perform this open heart surgery also. But yes, these are the changes which had happened due to this COVID due to this technology's improvement, which has uh, taken into account. So uh, similarly, like uh, Zoom, Google enabled uh, workout, live streaming, yoga sessions, uh, classes. If telemedicine and virtual workouts will likely become uh, more pervasive that in circadian rhythm of university life, what will happen to university life? Uh, will it be again a virtual? We have to see, we have to understand that uh, what will be the future. So uh, also remain on become virtual. What have we learned that we don't want to live without when life resumes post COVID? Because this is a human tendency. This is a human being. Uh, they don't want to be put in the cage. We are a social animal. We like to interact, to meet the people. So as soon as this 
COVID scenario will be over, uh, you are out of this lockdown, uh, lockdown bondage, you will see the people are on the streets, the people are on the road. People love to go out, people love to uh, experience the travel. People love to visit the other places. People love to joy and celebrate. This is something. That's the reason our hotel business or tourism business is doing the best. Uh, trust me, the tourism ministry also had been quoted uh, and said that they are developing a lot of Indian markets, a lot of new touristic destinations, uh, which Dr. Savita, I'm sure, agree with us. So uh, these are the new developments which are happening. And uh, it was in a make. Even uh, Varanasi has beautiful things. It has been created beautifully. It was earlier known for something else, but now it has been spiritually as well as your laser market is also opened. You have a lot of things which has been put into tourism. We are just waiting for this. Uh, lockdown ban should be lifted and then you will see people love to meet each other. People love to interact, not on this platform. So this is something which uh, uh, definitely has been bonding and uh, you will find these changes uh, will happen. Uh, in fact, I would like to share uh, some more things on this, like, uh, I'm sorry if I'm taking a little more time of yours. Uh, I, I may allow to continue here, please. So Sir, students please carry on. It's, it's, perfectly fine. it's quite an interesting session. So please, uh, um, we are more okay. than... I'll just take five more minutes, please. Sure, sir. Sure, sure. Please Thank do. you. The students and their parents may assume that online is always lesser than face-to-face -face, uh, instructions. Do you guys feel that? I don't think so. Because your teachers my colleagues, my faculty members, and Dr. Sharma has been putting a lot of efforts to deliver everything which can be done. And this is what we are doing, especially for you. This is something which is very important. And uh, please understand the teachers, your faculties has to take a lot of pain to deliver one lesson. They have to go through and search all these materials. In a classroom, they have one-to-one uh, -one interactions, but that interaction is limited to that particular subject. Uh, maybe uh, he uses some time for taking attendance and then asking so many things from you guys. But uh, trust me, this is something which is uh, totally different in this online platform. The online platform is nothing less. So please don't take it as a less one. Uh, maybe your parents, maybe uh, your colleagues feel that uh, you're not getting uh, the complete things or education online. No, it is not correct. You are getting the best knowledge, best interactions at the Google Meet or Zoom Meet or whatever the platform has been provided to you guys. So. This is what I would like to uh, put this here. And then learning can change life. It may take a week, month, or years, but one day we will be back to normal. We will definitely back to normal. Our first step is always the hardest one to reach the success. For getting success, we have to do our continuous efforts and we ha have a habit of being a uh, critics. We have habit of talk a lot, but we fail to do. We fail to perform. That is not good. We have to understand and gather all these informations and we should perform it. If we do that, definitely uh, there is no looking back. Whatever the forum, whatever the situation may come, today is a pandemic, tomorrow it may be something else. We know how to overcome from all these situations, all these things. I 
Simon said, oh, my old friend, good to see you. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, I just saw his uh, name on top, so good. Uh, but we want a lot of doers in this. And we definitely have to share our knowledge, our experiences with the students. Then only these students, our uh, new generation, will shine will definitely uh, put apart and they will uh, make our names on top. Lacardo uh, Blue School of Hospitality and Tourism will make stars like. So we have to uh, work on them and we have to shine our diamonds which are there in this college and we will find many more here. So thank you very much. If we don't find a way, we have to create one. I would like to, uh, before closing it, I would like to say a very good quotation of uh, Charlie Chaplin. I'm sure you guys know uh, the Charlie Chaplin, the famous comedian. Uh, he said three heart touching statements, uh, which is nothing is permanent in this world, not even your troubles. So don't worry. These troubles are momentary. Things will go. The second, he said that I like walking in the rains because nobody can see my tears. I have to smile. So keep smile, share smile, happiness with everyone. See the things will great. And the third one, which is the most wasted day in a life is the day uh, in which we have not laughed. So please laugh whatever the time you have whatever the energy you have so please give that to your uh, family to your friends laugh meet them interact them uh, so uh, to my friends to my uh, students in case they like to ask any questions any things uh, which coming in their mind they may such and sir uh, students, uh, please feel free to ask any questions from Kapil sir, whichever comes to your mind. Uh, but uh, when you're asking the questions, I would uh, humbly like to request everybody to please switch on their cameras. Um, it is always better to have uh, a face to the, to the sound. Uh, so please, the floor is open to all the students and faculty members. Please go ahead and ask uh, any questions or anything that you would like to further discuss with sir. Anyone would like to uh, have any questions or any discussions about it? Uh, I think it was an excellent session, sir. That's why everybody is just completely smack gobbed about, uh, about it and I have no questions. Um, um, I would uh, invite uh, Savita ma'am to uh, say a few things uh, before we close the session. And uh, uh, before closing the session, I would like to share one little video, sure, sir. Uh, if you allow me, please. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Okay. Thank you. Let me present it, please. Sure, sir. Just wait. Is this video is visible? Is this video is visible? No, sir. The video is not visible, sir. Wait, I think so. I think you have to share the tab of the YouTube video. I'll do.
Is this video is now visible? Okay, I believe. No, uh, no, sir, it's still not visible. Would you like to share the link with me and I'll present the video for you, sir? Uh, okay, uh, let me just uh, play it. Is it playing? No, sir. The, the screen is completely uh, blank. Okay. Uh, thank you. Please continue in that case. So, would you like me to present the video, sir? Or should we continue? No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll do it. I'll share with you later. Right, sir. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I would like to invite uh, our uh, Dean Savita Ma'am to uh, say a few words about the session, and then um, I would like to I'll take the opportunity to conclude the session. Savita Ma'am, please. Uh, Thank you so much, Chef Sachin. Uh, so, uh, Kapil sir, as you you know mentioned wow. that yes, you know we have learned so many things. So, first thing is that yes, uh, you know being faculty members, we have you know actually learned how to conduct classes online, because you know this was never into our profiles. We have never conducted online classes. So, actually, you know we have learned. We have tried a lot to you know. Uh, learn all these things how to present how to you know mute yourself how to change the background and so many things which we have learned of course our students has also have also you know uh, made a lot of effort to attend the classes online because they have also you know they never attended classes online when they were coming to the uh, university and uh, the second thing which I uh, you know noticed was what you were mentioning that you know we have started purchasing so many things online yes with the new generation, uh, they were always into, you know, online shopping. But, you know, if I talk about myself, I was, you know, never into online shopping. I always used to, you know, feel like to go to the shop, you know, to go to the malls and then, you know, see the things and then you purchase things. But yes, during over the last one year, I have, you know, switched on to online shoppings. And I think almost everything is now being, you know, shopped from online only. And I think uh, that saves the time. Yes, as you were mentioning that, you know, now I have more time. I don't have to go actually, you know, that commute uh, commuting time is less now. I don't have to actually go and, you know, search for different things. Everything is available online. So that and, and the timings are also, you know, benefited. You know, I don't have to go between, you know, till 8 o'clock or 9 p.m. in the night. Even when I'm, you know, I'm going to sleep, then also I can do the shopping. So that is a benefit also. Absolutely. Yes. There are so many things which we have learned. There are so many benefits also. And uh, I mean, uh, the session which you have, uh, you know, the things which you have, the wisdom which you have shared with us was really, really very nice. Things which we have never realized. I think today with your words, uh, uh, you know, uh, that made us realize those things that, yes, this is happening. These are the things which we have learned. So thank you so much for that. Thanks a ton. Um, well, uh, thank you very much. Definitely, it has been uh, enlightenment, and uh, we are doing this online, but we are scared about the fraudulent things. So we were not that confident. That confidence comes because there is no other way. We cannot buy due to lockdown. We do. There's a um, and number of shops have been closed, so we have to buy it online from this Amazon, Flipkart, or uh, many other outlets. So we have to give the trust. So that trust developed. And then definitely it's been secured and uh, it saves a lot of uh, commuting time and money too at the same time. Um, uh, Ma'am, uh, I would once again like to invite our faculty members as well to if they would like to uh, have a discussion or would like to uh, ask any questions from Kapil sir um, or uh, before we conclude this session. So please feel free to ask any kind of questions that our faculty members and our students might have. Not necessarily a question, but yes, any uh, one would like to add on something. Anything so, what you yes, yes, you are welcome. Yeah, because this is a information sharing. It is nothing uh, for testing somebody. But yes, it is information sharing. Uh, whatever uh, you know, I may not. Um, it's one of our experiences I would like to share, sir, is, uh, and maybe my co-chefs, Gurudar Chef and Saurabh Chef, 
uh, would agree to this challenge is that as, as chefs, it's it's really hard for us to actually explain the students the practical aspects of culinary arts. Um, yes, we share videos. We go through every video one by one, explaining them the reason and of the ingredients. But um, yes, obviously, uh, having the uh, having the practical experience when you're standing in front of a burner and actually doing things and rather than doing things on a YouTube uh, makes a lot of difference. So uh, yeah, for me, my co-chefs as well. Um, I think it has been a bit of a roller coaster for us to train our students in practical cookery. Uh, because obviously a chef is in the kitchen, not in front of a computer. <laughs> but this era has actually changed chefs in, in front of computers rather than just in front of kitchens. So that is uh, that is one interesting aspect that I would like to uh, bring to the bring to our discussion. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that's how it is. Uh, I must like to say uh, thank you very much. Yes, and this is something which has been asked and said by the students also. If you know Dr. Uh, Sanjeev Kapoor, he's a famous celebrity chef. What he do? He just cook it in front of the uh, movie camera and putting it on the YouTube's or the TV programs. The people learn from it. They, every student does not have that kind of an infrastructure at home. I do completely agree. For that reason, uh, yes, our colleges and things, they provide certain days to come in certain numbers to by maintaining those COVID norms, we can uh, provide our best services. And that way, they will be given educations, which is face to face by doing a practical things also. But later on, as they will be uh, one of the business entrepreneur, they have to buy those infrastructure and they have to do the practice on it. So whatever is the learning which you are giving through YouTube or other notes, definitely it's quite useful how they take it. It is there. The education has to improve on. That's the reason the learning. It's a vast subject. It is not a learning learning what what we have to learn. So we have to learn every day something new, which has been taught by this life. And that's what we are doing it. Um, OK, sir, since uh, nobody has any further points, anything points to. OK, through. so let me present something. Sure. I hope it's this. Sure, please go ahead and present. Uh, we'll be more than happy to have a look at it, sir. Is it visible? Uh, not yet, sir. It is there. Is it visible? So your screen is visible, but we cannot see the video. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, I, we can see the thank you. Not yet. Uh, it says it is being. It's a thank you note. So thank yes. you very much for. Uh, <laughs> okay, maybe some internet uh, connectivity issues. So this is what we are facing uh, these days. But thank you very much uh, for inviting me on this uh, forum. I'm uh, looking forward for it. And uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Savita Sharma, I'm uh, really obliged for it and happy to be here. So thank you very much, dear all faculty members, my friends, and uh, such and sir. Senior. <laughs> Um, so um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you from behalf of my uh, respectable dean, ma'am, my my co colleagues, and uh, my dear students uh, for spend, taking time out of your busy schedule and giving us one hour of of your discussion point and sharing your wisdom with us. Um, we all know that uh, the future holds a lot for this industry because this industry has always proved that uh, whatever happens and whatever may happen, the hospitality industry does bounce back. Uh, within a smaller way, but rather in a big way. As trainers, it is our responsibility to train our students for the future. And as a chefs, it is our responsibility to uh, to keep the zeal in the students uh, with regards to culinary arts and uh, gastronomy. So once again, uh, thank you, uh, Savita Ma'am, for the session. Thank you, Nidhi Ma'am, uh, for organizing the brochures. Uh, thank you, uh, Riddle Ma'am, for doing the recording and the photography and the required documents and certainly not last the least thank you so much couple sir for your precious and your valuable time well, thank, you. thank you very much may god bless you all stay happy and healthy thank you thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much everyone and thanks to all the attendees thank you so much